Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is Gavlos here, and today we are going to be continuing our playthrough of Ruby King. So as usual, if you guys are going to enjoy it, consider liking this video as well as subscribing. I really do appreciate your support here, but most importantly, it's so that you don't miss future episodes or uploads or single player playthroughs or content or guides just like this one. And with that being said, let's get this episode started. So here we are in the game, and as you can see, we are miles away from where we last were in the last episode, which was, of course, at the end of Twisted Paths after acquiring the third and final crafting component for Abigail's Legacy, which is, of course, Miss fortune's legendary weapon so the component in question was the volcanic gun barrels which was exclusively at the end of twisted paths um if you guys are having a little bit of trouble in that segment i highly recommend checking out the previous episode i think i did a very very clear cut review of how to navigate that dungeon um so if you guys are having a little bit of trouble you could possibly go ahead and check it out but regardless we're gonna focus on the next weapon that we're gonna go ahead and uh, gather the crafting components for today and that weapon in question is gonna be alawi's legendary weapon which is of course the heart of the goddess so let me just go ahead and untrack Abigail's legacy for you first. We've already crafted, uh, we've already gathered all three components, like I said, and we're just waiting to return to the forge and craft the weapon in itself. But we're gonna do that later because we want to grab as many, um, you know, components for each weapon as we can. So, um, the final weapon that we're gonna uh, focus on for now is gonna be the Heart of the Goddess. That is because the Orange Will and the Oblivion Orb will require us to go to the next area in the storyline, which is the Vault of the Vasani, and we have obviously not been there yet, so we're gonna leave that for later. So, uh, let's focus on the Heart of the Goddess today, and uh, let me just read to you what we need to get. We need to get the Essence of the Serpent Willingly Given. We need to get an item trapped in the past, a memory artificially kept alive, as well as a relic which protects life and guides it forward. So, interesting interesting thing to note here is that I actually have two of the items here already with me. Um, that is because the Essence of the Serpent was actually received um, relatively early on. I cannot remember precisely which episode, but um, it should be one of the um, early episodes. I think around midway, you know, the midway point, maybe episode 50 or 60 um, plus or something. I'm not really sure. Um, I will link it in the channel card for you, um, you know, uh, in, in, in the video so you guys could possibly check it out if you want to. But uh, regardless, I'm still going to show you how to get this particular item again. Um, the item trapped in the past, a memory artificially kept alive, was re uh, received several episodes back. I think it was in the graveyard episode where you first encountered the graveyard. Um, we're going to have to go there some other time in future. So I will just go a little bit touch and go about this one. Um, basically, it's in the final chest in the gazebo in the... Um what is it? What's the correct term here? I'm not really sure. We're, we're going to go with gazebo. So um, it's in the final area in the graveyard, in the gazebo, um, in the main chest under the gazebo, I should say. So basically, it's in there. You can just loot it after you um, navigate the entire area. And uh, one, one more quick little tip is that if you are visiting the graveyard for the first time, um, when you first visit at Shadow Isles, I highly recommend, you know, getting the uh, getting to the end of the uh, graveyard uh, when you're, you know, and you know, on your first visit. Because if you go ahead and go for a second visit, chances are the enemies are gonna go up in level and you're gonna face uh, more challenging and more tougher enemies so it won't be really too fun but um, yeah it's up to you so anyway uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the, today's agenda we're gonna be focusing on getting the essence of serpent willingly given so interestingly like I said I actually have received this item already in fact I'm gonna quickly show you what item is it in my inventory menu here um, if we go to inventory and if we go to the quest items it is gonna be the amber and case snake so um, this item, this um, key item for the allow for Alawi's legendary weapon, is actually received right here in where I am at the present. We are in the Purification Temple. Um, it was received right here in the Purification Temple, more specifically in the Halls of Radiance, even more specific than that. Um, it is in this particular side chamber, as you can see here. So, what the hell are we doing back here in the Purification Temple? Now, um, I could have easily just bypassed this altogether and just go to the, uh, you know, the just execute the final step to get the actual, um, you know, the, uh, the the, the actual component that is needed to craft um, the legendary weapon but I thought that wouldn't be too great so I thought I should probably come back to purification temple and show you how to solve the puzzle so um, logically you will be thinking right now if you've already received the item you might have already solved the puzzle right um, the thing is what I did was I actually reset this puzzle for the sake of the view for the sake of you know um, the video um, basically what I did was I purposely um, put away the um, you know the uh, the items to where it was actually meant to be so as Essentially, it's similar to how you would, um, you know, approach this particular area for the first time when you visit the Purification Temple. So, um, all, I, all you need to do, I need your cooperation for this part, all you need to do is you just need to pretend that certain doors are closed, and I will point out to you which doors are closed and which doors are open. So, um, as we go, of course. Now, when you first enter the Purification Temple, I'm going to show you how to unlock that um, particular um, 
that side chamber i might even touch on how to you know unlock the uh, remaining door which will allow you to progress through the game but uh, we'll see how does that go but let me just focus on the uh, amber case snake first um one more thing to note is that when i go ahead and actually interact with the uh item that will give us the amber and case snake it's gonna play the cutscene again for some reason and it will give us another amber and case snake which is really really weird but uh, i think the game is a little bit buggy uh, i'm not gonna complain though um you know any um it, the, re the replaying of the cutscene is gonna be furthermore proof that um this uh, particular solution works so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and show it to you now when you first enter the purification temple more specifically the halls of radiance you'll be presented with this puzzle um i think at this point when you enter the perfect the halls of radiance you should understand what this is this is a sun core and it should um give you energy which will give i think uh, not give you energy but give these uh, relays power so basically what you need to do here is you just need to redirect this relays to have their sun rays i'm um, pointing in a particular direction so if um this uh, this sun core here should be on by default so basically you don't need to worry about this for now um basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to reflect this particular ray this way um let me just try that again one more time it only goes in one direction unfortunately okay so you're gonna want to reflect this particular ray this way and if we head through here you'll see that there is a sphere on this wall here now pretend this door is closed because this is where you need to go ahead and grab the ember and case snake and this is the item that you're going to interact with to get the ember and case snake so in order to unlock this door you need to make sure that the rays are pointing into this sphere respectively um the, uh, this sphere and this other sphere respectively let me just show you the other sphere first before we get too deep um so that one on that side and this one on this side so all you need to do to unlock this door is you need to make sure the rays are pointing onto those um, spheres so let me just go ahead and redirect this one this way first one more time unfortunately it's only in you know the anti-clockwise direction which is a bit unfortunate but it's okay we'll get where we need to be okay so this ray is onto this sphere that means we need to get the other ray onto this sphere okay so this is where it gets a little bit tricky now um, the problem with this is that, you know, you need another additional sun core. Why do you need an, an, another additional sun core? Because there is no feasible connection to get this particular ray to shine into this one um, coming off of that one particular sun core hopefully that makes sense but uh, yeah hopefully you know it's uh it's uh i'm i'm I, I won't say i speak the best english but um i would say i understand my version of english so basically you need to get that sun ray to uh, point into that particular core and there is no feasible connection for um that core to go to that side um, going off you know the, the core in the entrance now what you need to do the solution here is to make sure that you have this particular door unlocked so which door is in, which door is it in question this particular door when you first enter this area this door here will be closed and this door will be keeping an additional sun core now to get this particular sun core open you need to have a ray pointing into this particular sphere in order to get a ray into this particular sphere i'm just gonna pretend that door is locked you need to go ahead and grab the one here in this particular entrance um this particular ped uh, pedestal by the entrance so it's gonna disable this one temporarily but that's okay because what we need is we need this sun core in order to power this particular sphere in order to get this particular sphere powered we need to make sure the ray comes through this side because there's no feasible connection um the rays can't go diagonally so we need to make sure that we get this one unlocked and the only way to get this one unlocked is to get something pointing towards this side so it looks like it's impractical it's impossible but do not fear there's actually one solution what you need to do is you need to make sure that you interact with this thing here and it's gonna shift this particular platform all the way to this side and when you go ahead and place the sun core over here this ray should shine out this way and if i go back and uh check in on it it should unlock this particular door so it's gonna it's gonna be unlocked for me right now because like i said i've already solved this puzzle during the first visit here in episode 50 or 60 something and uh basically what i'm gonna do is th let's just pretend that the door just unlocked and let's just pretend we're seeing this for the first time so i'm gonna go ahead and grab the sun core here okay cool and with this additional sun core you're gonna want to place it on this area over here this um what is it this um this power relay over here there we go okay so that should shine onto that sphere at this at that end and what we need to do is we need to go ahead and make sure that this one um you know this um this this relay here is pointing towards this side so let me just go ahead and interact with this um, button again okay now it's pointed that way which is good 
Okay, so um, this is this 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 direction is towards the rest of the dungeon, which you are gonna have to complete to get the uh, you know the rest of the uh, you know the other item. Um, I think I showed you that in the uh, in that episode where I first and solved this puzzle. So I don't think we'll talk about it in this episode. So um, let's just pretend that uh, this we're doing this for the first time. Uh, we need to make sure we get this pedestal to shine this way. Okay, so once we get it to shine this way. This particular sphere should be glowing, and if I'm not mistaken, let's just pretend this door is closed. This particular sphere should be glowing as well. Cool. All right. So with these two spheres going, uh, glowing, a cutscene, sh a cutscene should play, and this door should open. So. We're gonna pretend this door just opened for us and what we're gonna want to do is we're just gonna want to interact with this item and once we interact with this item it's gonna give us the amber NK snake now again like I said I already have the amber NK snake in my position I'm just gonna show it to you one more time it is here but uh, for some reason if I interact with it again the cutscene is gonna play and I'm gonna get another amber NK snake so I'm just gonna go ahead and do it for the sake of the video there are periodic mechanical sounds coming from the statue let's pull its tongue Tongue reels in the statue's mouth as the tongue disappears from view. A large orb of amber falls from the statue's mouth. What do you suppose this is? Asks Brom. A trinket, replies Yasuo. No, it's a disturbing symbol to trap life in this manner. It's repulsive to my goddess, and to keep it as something to gaze upon an object of entertainment is even more repulsive. We must return this to the blessed waters of Nagakaboro so that its life may stir again. Okay, we'll keep it then. Alright, so there we go. We have the Ember NK Snake. So if I'm not mistaken, this should be a duplicate item. Hopefully it's not. Um, I can't really remember. But yeah, it's going to give us another Ember NK Snake. There we go. Now we have two Ember NK Snake, which is, I think, a little bit of a bug um, in the uh, coding section or the developing section. But it's okay. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to go ahead and show you what we need to do with it. Because um, even though we have received the Ember NK Snake, we are not done yet. That is because there's one more thing we need to do to make sure we get the essence of the serpent which is of course the um the uh what is it the uh the 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 the, the final item the final version of the item um that is required to craft the heart of the goddess so this is gonna take us back to the well of the mother serpent where we went ahead and got Alawi's level 3 ultimate i'll touch about that in a second when we reach the well of the mother serpent so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna cut the video here and i'll meet you guys back um at the well of the mother serpent okay guys we are back and here we are in the well of the mother serpent just to show it to you um well of the mother serpent there we go so basically if you are you know you want to come here for the first time uh, all you need to do is you just need to head north uh from the buru grotto when i say north i actually mean um uh, what what is it north south east uh west we need to head west from the buru grotto let me just show you the buru grotto map real quick so yeah uh this is from docks harbor uh when you head into the buru grotto all you need to do is you just need to head up here and it should bring you to the well of the mother serpent it might require you speaking to an npc by the entrance first to unlock this area so yeah once you speak to the npc and i think you have to deal with a mandatory fight uh, which you can actually flee from actually um, near the, uh, the the initial entrance to this particular area uh, once you deal with them you are going to be able to head to this particular area here at the uh, bow of the ship where you're going to want to make an offering for um, you know this uh, next segment which I believe once you make the offering you'll get something uh, that will uh, essentially just uh, tick off this uh, essence of serpent um, item thingy here I'm not really sure what's the correct um, terminology for this one but yeah um, basically that's what you want to do um, and my advice for this part as well is um, just a little bit of a pointer is that if you are I think if you're trying to get Alawi's level 3 ultimate done which is avatar um, you might want to consider doing these two things simultaneously that is because um, Alawi's level 3 ultimate also requires you to come to this area and uh, basically in order to get the item for Alawi's level 3 ultimate all you need to do is you just need to head to the crucible which is in Baron's Rest I covered this a couple episodes back possibly check that out if you want a little bit more detail but yeah go to the crucible in Baron's Rest um, kill the unique enemy to allow his um what is it? Uh, the the unique battle, un unique battle, uh, the, the battle unique to Alawi. I should rephrase the battle unique to Alawi. You will get a kraken, uh, kraken idol, something idol of Nagakaboros. And with that idol, you're gonna want to come to the uh, well of the mother serpent as well and offer the uh, the the item in question, which will return with return you with, um, I think, the uh, level three ultimate unlock. So, um, since we already have the level three ultimate unlock, we're just gonna go ahead and offer the uh, amber and snake to get the essence of the serpent. So again, like I said, do that simultaneously 
especially if you are doing this for the first time just for the sake of convenience and just for the sake of uh, you know ease so that you don't need to you don't need to make um, double or triple trips i'm just doing double or triple trips here just because i want to make sure i organize things for you guys so that we focus on the legendary weapon in one episode and the level 3 ultimate in another episode so it doesn't confuse you but yeah let's go ahead and just offer this some um, item Okay, just head to the bow of the ship, head to the maximum, um, you know, the where, where the game limits you from going any further. We're going to go ahead and interact with it. The bow of this maroon ship serves as a place of pilgrimage for those who wish to offer tidings to the ever-present uh, ever present serpent mother. Okay, let's offer tiding. Alright, so as you can see, we have the Ember and K-Snake. I have the Ulani's title up here. That's a non-important item. I'm going to talk about it in a second later um, when we finish the Ember and K-Snake first. But uh, yeah, this is not mandatory. This is mandatory, the Ember and K-Snake. Let's go ahead and just uh, interact, uh, select it. Suddenly, the waters below churn violently and eject the orb. It launches at Alawi and she snatches it out of the air deftly. As quickly as they, end, as they were enraged, the waters fall silent and still. The orb is now different, the snake inside moves and breathes as if alive, but it ebbs and flows in and out of reality. The spirit of a serpent freed from mortal shackles, yet alive in will and power. Much power, thank you, mother. I will not squander this gift. Okay. Alright, so that is the essence of the serpent. As, as you can see, it is ticked, that means that is done. So, um, you might have noticed I have another item here. Uh, I'm just going to quickly show it to you. The uh, we, have the, we have another Ember and Case snake because we... Um, you know, we got it. We, we got the second one uh, that I just showed you from the uh, what is it? Uh, uh, from what's the place called again? The Halls of Radiance, right in the Purification Temple. Um, under regular circumstances, you're not, you're not gonna get two because you're smart and you're playing this for the first time. You're only gonna get. Uh, you're, you're gonna. Sorry, I mean you're gonna. You're gonna be solving the puzzle for the first time. You're only gonna get one and brain case snake. But because I solved it again for you guys, I'm gonna get two here. So it's basically a but. So I'm not gonna focus on it. But we have another item here called the Ulani's Title Orb. This is not a mandatory item. This is not a quest item in any circumstance. I'm just gonna go ahead and select it and trade it in and see what we get back. I don't recall where I got this but it should be from one of the earlier dungeons or something but yeah since we're here in the well of the mother serpent we might as well do it so i'm gonna go ahead and trade it in chloe offers a silent prayer and tosses the tidal orb over the ledge after a moment the water churns and a shadowy idol is returned to her and we get the shadow tide idol interesting okay so i think that is a relatively weaker weaker weapon i'm just gonna quickly go ahead and check it out and see again i'm not really sure where i got the ulani's tidal orb which is a bit confusing um, it's actually much more powerful than the Kraken's Gift. Interesting. But um, the Kraken's Gift will actually give us more tentacles. Okay. I think we'll leave that for later. Um, we'll see what we do with that later. So, yeah. I, I, I will deal with that, um, you know, off-camera, the equipment and stuff. But basically, that is the gist of getting the, uh, what is it, the Essence of the Serpent. Uh, which is, of course, one of the items for Alawi's um, legendary weapon. So... Um, in the next episode, we're going to end the video here because we are running, running out of time, of course. But yeah, in the next episode, we're going to be focusing on getting the Relic which protects life and guides it forward. Um, I believe this is a fairly challenging one. I'm not really sure exactly, but I think it's fairly challenging because it's basically similar to Pike's um, level uh, level 3 ultimate quest, which involves us killing three Miss Walkers um, throughout the Shadow Isles. So yeah, we're going to work on that in the next episode, obviously, because there isn't enough time. And I believe when we go to one of the areas as well, it's going to bring us to where we get the um, item trapped in the past, a memory artificial to kept alive. I mentioned earlier that's in the gazebo in the graveyard, but um, when we get to the next episode, I'm going to show you exactly and pinpoint down the location exactly precisely where it is. So yeah, uh, that's all in the next episode. But for now, we're going to end the video here because we are running out of time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Ring King uh, where I showed you how to get the, what is it, the... Uh, Ember and case snake, right? The Ember and case snake and the essence of the serpent. Hopefully, you found it helpful and enjoyable. And if you did, consider liking this video as well as subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate your support here, but most importantly, it's so that you don't miss future episodes or uploads of single player playthroughs or content or even guides just like this one. And with that being said, this is Kevlo signing off. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully, I catch you all in the next episode. Goodbye.